Hi guys, OB Dave here. And I am Ash. Together we are OB Dave and I am Ash. Yeah. Now what I am trying to do is butter Ash up as much as possible with these reactions we're recording tonight because it is the first night we're going to do a full watch along of Always Sunny in Philadelphia starting at episode one. I love it. I've seen it all many times. Did you just choke on your own saliva? No, I was just swallowed. <laughs> just swallowed. If I was choking, I'd be choking. You know, the, the giveaway would be me choking. <laughs> well, you, you don't know. Some people Swallowing just... is different to choking. I hope you, you at this point. You're quite, you, you're quite tall. I can't believe you don't know the difference and you've made it to six People do, one, though. People don't 30. like proper choke. They're just like half swallowing. Like, oh, yeah. And 30, whatever you are. I forget. What am I again? 30 something have you seen that guy with the big teeth that doesn't chew his food oh, loads I don't. Of you have haven't you you've seen him on some of my reels bevo i think is called oh i don't it makes me so uncomfortable why am i ear itchy but that makes ugh. grim but anyway i'm trying to butter ash up because basically i've queued up like key and peel electric call boy gillian keeves and then the big push as well so we get a bit of ren at the end and then it's going to be the first episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, just to get you in a good mood so you, you're ready for it. Okay. It can be an acquired taste, but once you watch about 10 or 11 of them, you'll be obsessed. People said this to me about Breaking Bad, and I know a few of you didn't like my comment on that last time. Personal opinion. I tried. I really, really tried. Breaking Bad, I really enjoyed, and I watched it three times all the way through, but it's not as good. It's not as iconic as like it's not up there with the Sopranos. It's no. not. It's nowhere near up there with things like that. No. And when you watch it again, even having enjoyed it, you're. It's over quite quickly. Yeah. It's not an epic like a lot of other things are. No. But it's great. I really yeah. I enjoy Breaking Bad. I Everyone else great. said that, and they kept saying to me, "Just keep going, you'll enjoy it." And the more I watched it, it was like, no. Oh, you know the one I'll get in trouble for saying that I don't like. The Wire. No, I didn't enjoy The Wire. I, the first time I, I tried it... I struggled it, with it too. Like, I watched three episodes, yeah. hated it, and then a few months later I watched the first eight episodes because yeah. I was like, everyone says how good it is. You, yeah. My I problem did. with it is I didn't like any of the characters. No, same. So when something bad happened to someone, it I was, was like, like mm, well, okay. okay. It, it just, it also, like, the way that it rolled out the story, It I, I struggled to just, like, understand, like, it didn't flow as nicely as some of the series. That's like, classed as one of the best HBO apparently series. Apparently so. Made as well. And everyone, and, I, and like you, I tried it a second time because I was like, people go on about this. It must be good. Yeah. Maybe I was just not in the right mood for it. Nope. When I got through to the second time of watching it, I fell asleep through a couple of the episodes because it was just like. A sacrilegious music version of that is I slept to tall live. You... I saw it all live and fell asleep. I mean, personal opinion. Yeah, so there you go. I don't you like can't. The Wire and I'm not really into Tool. <gasps> to be fair, I've not really listened to a lot of Tool apart from... Tool's you know, great. I just slept. Anyway, right then, we're going to do Gillian Keeves' Isis Toyota. Before we upset all our fans. It's, you're allowed to have opinions. Yeah. Respectfully. Respectfully. People love The Wire and say it's the best thing ever made. And good for you. I just really did try. I did and too. Hung in. And I, I love stuff like that. It's the same for me with Breaking Bad. I really did try. Well, so there you go. That's all you can do. Mm-hmm. Cue the comment section. I know, yeah. Uh, right then. Gillian Keyes, Isis Toyota. Let's do it. Hello. I'm Bob Isis of Isis Toyota. And we have a great collection of pre-owned certified Toyotas. But there's one thing I want to make very clear, and it's that we have nothing to do with the terrorists over there in the Middle East right now. And that's why we are the good ISIS. All right, listen, you got to lean into the ISIS thing. It's yes. a good marketing tool. It's a great marketing tool. I agree with Barbie. I think you should be like, here at ISIS Toyota, we'll behead the competition. Yes. Oh, Jesus. No, we're not doing yes. this. What are you guys talking about? We're not wishing death to any of our enemies. We are wishing death to low, to high prices. Me and Barbie, we can hold AK-47. Yeah. No, no. That would be so cool. So I'm holding an AK-47, she's holding an AK-47, you're like, we got the best Toyotas! And I can be, like, I can be doing that like terrorist turkey gobble thing. Oh no, When if you had a surname like that, you would. You'd be trying so hard and everyone else is like, lean into it, and you're like, no. The terrorist turkey gobble thing. <laughs> Did you catch that line? No, I didn't. Uh, you lean into it, you get cancelled, but you also have viral videos and everyone's going to know your... Like, all press is good press when it comes to trying to sell things. It's true. Allegedly, but, you know, P. Diddy might disagree with that and, you know, people like that. Yeesh. 
That's a bit red in the face, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. That would be so cool. So I'm holding an AK-47, she's holding an AK-47, you're like, we got the best Toyotas! And I could be like, I can be doing that like terrorist turkey gobble thing. You know what I mean? We're like, good at it. Oh, enough. At ISIS Toyota, we have nothing to do with Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi and his vicious gang of thugs. All we're trying to do is put you into an affordable, pre-owned, certified Toyota. People don't respect you. To the youngsters, I know you're having fun. I used to have fun myself, but there's something you need to know. Stuff like that, that's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. C can I be in a commercial? No. C well, come on, why not? Why? It's because I'm black? No, it's not because you're It's because your name is... Ornthal James Anderson. And at <laughs> ISIS, we don't price gouge. But if we find a competitor with a lower price, we'll kill them. Put it Cut that. We're not doing ISIS. this. You don't love OJ? What are you saying, he did it? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it! All I'm trying to do is get you into a Toyota. We made this. Jesus That's fucking Christ. Put Isn't this that away. Great? Look, Put this yeah. away. Yeah. We're in a commercial. Look at it. Oh Wear this God. in the commercial. I'm not wearing that. Why not? There's I wore it on the bus here, dude. You, you know how hard that was for me? You wore this on the bus? Yes, I had to bring it here. That's dedication. Do you know how hard that is to get off? It costs more than the damn car. Like, you're blowing it here. Like, you you're really. Think I'm blown. Yes. Would you quit it? Quit it. I'm losing money on half these things. Cause you and your punk ass kids come down and fuck with our shit. You want an AK-47? Stop fucking with our Toyotas. Come down and buy them like a man. Oh, this is your threat. I'm, <laughs> I'm under a lot of fucking stress. I'll go fucking nuts. We are closed on 9/11. If your dad was real ISIS, you'd be up in heaven right now, covered in virgins. Yeah. But instead, you're a fat fucking virgin covered in used Toyotas. Yeah, that's what I. <laughs> okay. Mean, so. I'd like to what fucking rip oh my fucking god! Head. Come down to ISIS Toyota, or I'll fucking kill myself and everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. I did not see, obviously, the black guy come in with the O.J. Anderson. I know. Bit. I know. And then he wore it on the bus. Like, oh my God. He must just hate his employee. <laughs> He's a pretty good actor, Shane Gillis, he isn't is, he? He is really good. You get, uh, he, he, he becomes the character. He's really good at that. There is a rumour that he has said is not true. Okay. He's been asked about it. Right. That he is going to be the lead role in Quentin Tarantino's last ever movie. Mm. So Tarantino's working on his last movie at the moment. It's going to be his 10th movie and then he's, he's done forever. Whoa. And he's, he's said that for years. He's going to do his 10th and then he's out. That's it? Wow. I think he said he may write screenplays or, or like plays or, or something, um, but movies, he's never going to do wow. another one. I think it's about some... I think it's about some kind of like news report, uh, either news reporter or like journalist or something from the 70s. Okay. I think, and people cool. have said that Shane Gillis would be perfect for it. And there's this rumour that Shane Gillis is going to be the guy. Which, okay. Com compared to where he was five years ago getting cancelled. You know? I know, that's but massive. I, he has said it's not true, Shane Gillis. He but said, he might be told he to keep it quiet. Yeah. He said that he's never met Quentin Tarantino, he's never spoke to him. Interesting. Yeah. But well, it'd be pretty cool. That wouldn't would it? be so cool. Can you imagine? I think he'd be great. I think the funny thing is because there's so many racial slurs in Tarantino movies, because Shane Gillis got cancelled for racial slurs and impressions of Asian people. If like Tarantino's twist is that it gets Shane Gillis just full blown racial <laughs> slurs for the whole, the whole movie. Can you imagine? <laughs> like DiCaprio in Django. Oh my god. What a great movie. It was a great movie. That would be such a twist, though, because apparently Tarantino is a massive comedy fan and has been for decades. Nice. And hangs out in the comedy clubs and stuff. Nice. So when who knows? you've got a dark mind like that, I suppose you got to line it up with some comedy. Can you imagine that first table reading? He passes Shay in the, uh, the script. And it's like just slur after slur. And if he's sat there like, he's like, oh, man. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> I gotta do this. <laughs> yeah, it'd be hilarious. Anyway, right. I hope you guys enjoyed that too. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you all soon. Bye, guys.